We want to take you to a different spot along the Gulf Freeway. Uh, we showed you at the top of the newscast this damage that was left behind. This is after several massive trees fell right down on several cars that were parked there. Take a look at these images. Yeah, ABC 13 reporter Maya Shea live at that location near Wayside. So everybody's wondering what happened here because this really was not a wind event we were dealing with, Maya. Yeah, you know, the ground's just saturated, and when you have a uh, tree with some problems because it's age or whatnot, it just kind of gave up, and that's what happened here. Take a look at this tree. Yeah, the trunk right here. Uh, this actually went up around 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, according to residents. They just heard a loud crack, and bam, the tree fell over. Four cars just crushed. Uh, right now, you have a professional crew out here. There's about seven or eight guys uh, they're doing a good job. They got a safety harness on. They got the chainsaw. They're trying to take this uh, tree apart and move it. Uh, not really you can do much you can do with the cars. I tell you what, you see the Saturn right here, this first car, the most severely damaged. That is the only mode of transportation for a young single mother of two. I just spoke to her a few minutes ago when I asked her what she's going to do. She got very emotional. Take a listen. Well, I'm a single mother of two, and this is actually my only vehicle. So, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, nothing much I can do. So, just leave it at that. Yeah, she's just heartbroken because she doesn't know how she's going to replace the car because it's a rental apartment. There's no guarantee. She says that the landlord will step up and actually pay for another vehicle. Uh, we do know that these crews were asked by the management to come out here. They are slowly working through the tree. Uh, some parts of the tree easier to take apart than others. It's a big size tree, so not sure how much longer they will be here, but they're doing the best they can in this uh, driving rain. Folks here say they just feel lucky, you know, this happened three or four o'clock in the morning. It's a working neighborhood. Everybody used their car to get to work and they're lucky it didn't happen a couple hours later when somebody could have been hit. So uh, it's a tough situation, but at least nobody was hurt. Back to you guys. Oh, you feel for that mother right there. Hopefully somebody sees this and uh, just has a, a solution to the big problem she's dealing with right now. Maya, thank you for that.